In this video, we're going to be crafting Scarecrow armor and so much more, so stay tuned to the very end. Before we start off today's video, I do want to go ahead and hold a raffle in the chat. So if we do slash, let me find command. If we do slash um, raffle currency credits 250, it would actually start a raffle for everyone to enter. And whoever wins will actually receive 250 of my credits in the raffle. So let's go ahead and do it. And you can join by doing slash raffle join white club. And after a little bit, it will actually choose a winner for the credits. So if you are on while I am doing them, I probably will do them if I get a little bit more credits and stuff but make sure to join them and yeah and the winner of the raffle was this guy so he did get 250 of the credits so yeah if you guys are ever on i might be doing a raffle so make sure to go ahead and check that out but i just want to do something to give away back to the op legend community because they are honestly very very amazing okay so we do want to go ahead and craft some of these scarecrow armor so if we take a look at slash armor and go ahead and go to the scarecrow armor looks like the recipe for the chest plate is 48 hay bales and 12 enchanted spruce wood as long as 75k money but money isn't really concerning me if 46 million right now from nether war and then the leggings are 32 hay bells eight spruce wood and then the boots are 16 hay bells and four spruce wood so i'm pretty sure we have enough of these spruce wood those aren't really too hard to get because on our axe we have tree feller and that basically breaks a ton of logs at once which is really good and we also have efficiency four on it just to help a little bit more but i don't think we have enough of the hay bells so i think we're gonna have to keep grinding them a little bit more i could grab two of the pieces right now so let's go into slash armor scarecrow let's get the chest plate definitely and i think we get the leggings too and that leaves us with 11 more hay bales that we do need for the scarecrow boots so we got the full set of the scarecrow armor and now it's going to help us with farming fortune and speed um, so i want to go ahead and test out the farming fortune on our farm we're going to break one of the nether wars see how much it gives us so boom it gave us five so yeah we're going to be getting a lot more right now look how fast my inventory fills up we're going to go ahead and keep the enchanted spruce wood that we do need because we will need it for a golden hoe in the future so we're gonna keep that for now so with this new armor and all our gear and stuff we're getting so many nether wart that we're gonna need a way to actually condense it so if we go take a look in the mob coin shop there is an auto condense voucher somewhere boom right here so we have gained the ability to auto condense for 45 minutes and this is going to be good because this is going to allow us to mine without our inventory getting full as much which is going to be good for money and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and purchase that on the mob coin store so boom auto condense voucher it looks like it's going to last 45 minutes so around every 45 minutes that we are grinding we're going to be needing to buy one of these but it's only 2k mob coins and we can easily get those from crates dungeons farming all that stuff so yeah let's go ahead and i don't want to claim it yet because we aren't going to be grinding i mostly grind off off it Video. so i'm not gonna claim it yet but this is what i am going to be using just so we can grind more without our inventory filling up because if we take a look our inventory fills up a our inventory is filling up really really fast so we're almost at a full inventory right there pretty easily so yeah we're gonna be needing this and as we do keep getting better farming fortune we're just gonna keep filling our inventory up faster and faster i don't even know if i forgot to mention but i did upgrade this or expand the nether world farm a little bit so it is a lot bigger now and it should regenerate a little bit faster or not faster but we just have a lot more nether world to work with here and we did also get another tier to our crop growth speed so that's so that four out of five now and we are looking to get it to five out of five so we just need 36 mob coins and speaking of mob coins let's go ahead and open up some crates and maybe we can get some mob coins there we have 155 grind coins let's go ahead and open up those sometimes it takes a long time to process if you do have a lot amount of keys but it looks like we, it looks like we got some mob coins some money and experience we're definitely going to take all that and when, so we got about 5k mob coins from that which we're definitely going to take so let's go ahead and open up the next crate which is the loot crate keys let's open up we have about four of those we got some spawners some relic keys we got a grotto dungeon teleporter which basically allows us to ignore the cooldown for it okay so we got some pretty good stuff we did get a two pig spawners which probably built a farm soon for these spawners but now let's go ahead and open up the next crate key which is the relic crate key so boom let's see so we got mob coins boosters points boosters a regular dungeon core box we're gonna open up that we got some experience and some more pet boxes and only about 1k mob coins but we didn't have much of the key so let's go ahead and open up this dungeon core box and see what we can get from we got a goblin three dungeon core which gives us 15 percent reward quality but it increases the enemy health by 40 percent so it's honestly not a too crazy difficult one to, to defeat but we're definitely going to take it we do have some other ones too but let's go ahead and store that for now store these so we got a ton of boosters we haven't been using any boosters and we probably should because they will help us get some more mob coins points and all that good stuff that we do need to help progress in the server so that's it for the crates that we did have and we got some pretty good mob coins i guess 
And then we also got some experience and some other good stuff that we'll definitely take. I think our next step is to actually get a golden hoe because we won't get any more enchant boost or farming fortune boost, but we will get a point two or like if we look here, it says point forty x point booster. So we will get a point sixty x point booster, which is actually gonna help a ton in leveling up. And we need level sixty five for any of the next armor pieces. If we take a look for the um for the reinforced cactus tools, so yeah, we're gonna need to get to level sixty five for that, which is gonna take a little bit. And that golden hoe will give us a points booster, which will definitely help us get there a little bit faster and the recipe for that is 24 enchanted spruce wood and two enchanted golden ingots and we definitely can get the wood pretty easily i'm pretty sure we already have a lot of it let me take a look we have 17 already so yeah we're definitely going to be able to get that pretty easily but the golden but the enchanted golden ingots might take a little bit i kind of want to get a better pickaxe because we only have a stone one right now and we could pretty easily get a iron one it looks like in order to break some gold ore we do need an iron pickaxe so let's go ahead and get that real quick i forgot the recipe honestly so let's go double check so the recipe for the iron pickaxe is 12 enchanted oak wood which you get definitely which we can easily get and then one enchanted iron ingot so let's go ahead and mine for the iron real quick and then i'll show you how fast i can actually get oak wood too okay so we smelted all the iron that we need and let's go ahead and condense it all into an enchanted iron ingot and so we're gonna go ahead and go to spawn now because we do need an enchanted oak wood so let's fly all the way over there i do want to show the tree feller enchant pretty sure that's what it's called yeah the tree feller enchant basically allows you to mine it a lot faster so usually with a normal actual mine one by one but as you can see with the tree feller enchant we mine a chunk of the wood which speeds up the process a lot like we're almost at a stack already so 12, 12 enchanted oak wood should not take too long to get and we did level up to wood cutting level 11 so we did get a cell wand which we can use once we do get a grinder for our mobs because those cell drops aren't terrible for making money and if we do have them afk able we will be able to get a decent amount of money while we are farming or just afking it and once we do get the iron pickaxe or we will have all iron tools which will be pretty cool because we've been grinding for a bit and i'm pretty sure we do have enough oak wood it honestly didn't take too long to get all of this with the iron hoe with tree feller let's go ahead and get it all and we've got 14 enchanted oak logs so let's go into the armor and go ahead and craft the iron pickaxe boom and now we have it so we have 96 we can actually get two enchants on this one so we have 96 thousand xp so let's see what enchants we can actually get on it okay so we can get efficiency and fortune uh key finder and telepath are all right but i think key finder will come later because we don't really need to focus on keys right now so let's go ahead and efficiency efficiency is the main one because it will allow us to mine faster i don't know if i should put all of them on this let's see we had efficiency three on our stone pick you know what let's just do it all because we could get xp pretty easily with blazes and stuff and then let's do one level of fortune so we will get maybe more gold when we are mining we basically just use like all of our xp but it's definitely going to be worth it because you also do get some xp when farming and we're gonna be farming a lot because we do want to get to that level 65 so we can get some new gear and recipes so yeah it is mining the wood pretty fast and the fortune should be working so yeah we're just gonna mine until we get two enchanted golden ingots and we'll have enough for a golden hoe and we probably should have saved some xp for the enchants on that but we can definitely get that from grinding some blazes and i know we don't have any blaze spawners yet but there is some islands that have some public spawners that we're gonna grind out for some xp okay so all the gold has finished smelting let's go ahead and condense it all boom boom now we have two enchanted golden ingots and we're gonna go ahead and actually i'm pretty sure we need some more of the enchanted spruce wood so we're gonna get that real quick it shouldn't take too long and once i have enough i'm gonna go ahead and craft the golden hoe which is gonna help us a ton with leveling up so i have all the materials that i need for a golden hoe so let's go ahead and craft it honestly it didn't take too long to get all the materials so let's go ahead boom uh golden hoe boom now we have a golden hoe so we're gonna get a extra boost to our points we still have the same fortune multiplier and enchants but actually we do need some xp to get the chance on it so we're gonna probably not use it until we get the enchants on it because we really need the replant telepath to really make the nether war automatic so we don't have to keep replanting it because telepath gives you the nether war back and replant replants them so yeah i'm gonna see how much xp i can get from farming but i'm pretty sure grinding blazes are the best and i know a few islands that have some blaze spawners i can grind at and we also have a unique xp pet which is let me see in the slash pets it's probably one of the best or not best but it's right in the middle so we're definitely gonna take it because i'm gonna start farming and see how much xp i can can get um it's not leaking like too much it's nothing crazy so i think i'm gonna grind blazes for now but i think that's gonna be it for today's video we got a scarecrow armor set and we did get a golden hoe that we're gonna go and hopefully max out off camera but yeah hope you guys did enjoy if you guys do enjoy the op legends content make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos on here and i'll see you in the next one peace out